Hi there, Simon from simonwoodpen.com. Uh, I've got a couple of Rieslings in front of me, actually not in front of me, sitting down by my knees today. Um, and um, so what have we got? We've got the Spectre Riesling from uh, the Mosul uh, in Germany, and we've got Mission Riesling uh, from Hawke's Bay in New Zealand. Um, I'll do the Spectre first, because it is the younger one, and it's 10% alcohol, and uh, let's give this one a whirl. Well, this is made by a couple of people who call themselves Birds and Bats. Look at the website to find out all about them, but uh, their company, Wines of Momentary Destination, uh, and, oops, I've got a bit of a floater in there, um, and uh, the idea is that each year they do a wine in a different place, so I think it's, uh, it's 2014, uh, and I think they've just finished the vintage in Croatia, I think they're doing some Cabernet there. Uh, in 2012 they were doing some uh, Syrah in the Roussillon, uh, but in 2013 they were in the Mosul uh, making this Riesling. And uh, I stick my nose in and it's got that um, uh, slight, what I call the sweet and sour uh, edge of, uh, of young dry, it's, uh, it smells, smells like it's going to be dry, but then I look at the 10% and uh, uh, think, well it probably isn't going to be dry, it may just be this uh, youthful uh, minerally edge that's, uh, that, that's speaking of, um, uh, yeah, it's, it's calming down at any... Uh, any sweet fruit. It's certainly it's one of those that puts the accent more on, it seems, a place rather than um, uh, just an obvious varietal flavour. It smells interesting. I'll be intrigued to taste it because uh, I'm not quite sure what to expect. Mm. It's got the earthiness, it's got um, characteristics like citrus, plum, and it's got wax that's coming out all, all over my trousers. It's got a rather spooky label, hence Spectre. Um, uh, but um, in, in terms of uh, the, it's got it, has, it is on the off dry side. But because it's got this uh, backbone of acidity, as the two balance themselves very nicely, so you're getting um, it feels like sappiness and uh, not happiness, sappiness. Um, and um, yeah, it's, it, it hangs around in your mouth. Um, uh, if I have a problem with it, it's already, already very very forward. I, I was thinking about a, a 2013. Uh, Riesling uh, would be would be still on the shy side, but here it really is quite forward and jutting and saying hello, come and get me, and uh, quite angular flavours. It feels like a wine uh, that um, has got those Teutonic cheekbones, a high yeah the high cheeked uh, edge, but then softened by that uh, that touch of uh, of sweetness. I don't, it's not a, a sweet wine by any means, but I think they, they've just left enough residual sugar there to uh, round it out. Uh, what always surprises me about wines like this is you, you find out how much sugar is in there and it's far more than you expected, but uh, I'm going to have another sip of it. Yes, an intriguing wine. One of those I want to come back and sip and uh, I think I will change my mind and think, hmm, I'd prefer this and then, hmm, no, I actually like that. And Interesting, that's what you want from a wine. You want it to be interesting, so, and that is definitely interesting. Let's have a see whether the uh, one from New Zealand's interesting. This is Mission Estate Winery in Hawke's Bay, and it's their uh, 2013 um, Riesling, 11.5%. Give it a whirl. Juicy, sappy lime juice. Uh, we're tinged with petrol and a stony undercurrent. I'm not sure whereabouts they are in Hawke's Bay, um, but uh, there's, there's Hawke's Bay that's reasonably flat and close to the sea, and uh, people are now starting to get a little, little bit into uh, uh, into, the, into the higher ground, which will be more best suited to uh, to, to white wines. Um, I it smells good. I'm better taste it, hasn't I? What, I mean, it's fascinating the difference between these two. This is very regular, clean, uh, New World Riesling. Lovely, pure flavours. Um, and um, uh, But I suspect that if I, if I were to hang around and uh, keep an eye on this over the next few hours, it wouldn't change all that much. There, there's this edge of um, slightly candied citrus fruit, and it's the ripe lemons and the crystallised orange. Uh, a little bit of herb character in there. Uh, but it feels much, um, yeah, much cleaner and um, simpler is a bit unfair on it, but um, it, it really is a WYSIWYG wine. What you see is what you get. Uh, with the other one, I wouldn't be surprised if um, it's sort of things come and go, and uh, I like them both. Uh, I think I would probably uh, sit and, uh, I'm thinking about a summer day, this is the one I'd sit on the terrace and uh, sup a load of, because we all have terraces, don't we? Uh, sit on the terrace and, uh, and, and sip. Uh, and then the other one is something I'd like to uh, linger over through the course of an evening, maybe, maybe with some with some cheese. I think I think rather than uh, anything um, too fishy. But I imagine something fishy would go rather well. But um, I think I'm I'm going to need to uh, maybe find a terrace and some fish somewhere to uh, uh, to check out whether this theory uh, bears out in practice. Hey, see you soon.